Hey everybody, Scott from SCG Studios here, coming at you with another video. Looks a little different today, I've got my guitar out, and that's because I just heard the song Rattle by Elevation Worship. Uh, came out yesterday, and it blew my mind. I've not heard a worship song or a contemporary worship band like that come out with some heavy guitar in a while, uh, so that just made me smile. And I figured I had to learn it and then teach you how it goes. So, without further ado, here we go. Intro, you can play with one finger if you want. Oh, sorry, first off, uh, the whole song is E-flat standard tuning. So take every string on your guitar, tune it down a half step. So E is now E-flat. I should be decently in tune. Sorry if I'm a little bit out. Um, so the intro starts like this. It's kind of a clean patch. So it's really just an E, and then uh, just with one finger you can use your pinky like I was doing, holding the E shape. You could, if you want to be super cool, use your pointer, strum the 2nd fret G string, and then strum the G, the E, and the B string in that order. That's the first half, and then the second half is just uh, going kind of down the scale, starting from the E string, and then you go down to the 1st fret down here. Oops, that's strum though. Like that. So to play that, I this is my drive patch, but I've got my volume turned down a little bit, and I rolled the tone knob down so the high end isn't as harsh. So that sounds a little cleaner. Um, so that is the intro. And then the verse, uh, so there are two guitar things happening. The first thing is one guitar is kind of picking through the chords. So you hold the E for two measures, then you go C sharp minor, then B. So you go C sharp, B, then A, and then A over G sharp, and then down to the E. So if you're not playing the A in this open fingering, I really recommend doing that because that makes the G sharp easy to get to. If you play A the regular way with these three fingers here, I, if you got small hands like me, that G sharp is, you're never gonna reach it. So I play the A with my pointer on the second fret D string and my pinky on the fourth fret G string. Then you strum the low A up to the E, so. Um, that's how I usually play A's when I'm playing songs that are in the key of E, because it sounds open and nice. So that's what's happening in the first verse. There's one guitar just kind of strumming through the chords. Um, and then in the second verse, this other guitar comes in and starts doing this, uh, this chugging, uh, this muted chugging um, through all those chords too. So it goes like this. Just like that. So that's verse one and two. Uh, and then the chorus hits, and we're gonna turn on the tremolo, and that part's kinda cool. So let's listen to it here. Let me skip ahead. So you hear that with the guitar on the left, it's a like that. So I've got a tremolo that is set to a 16th note uh, rate and I just tap the tempo of the song. So I'm tapping one, two, three, four, and then it plays a 16th note every time the tap hits. So that's four times the rate of the tap, the tempo of the song. And you get something that sounds like that. You could do eighth note and then tap twice the tempo of the song if you want. It's totally up to you, but that's how I would do it. So in the first chorus there, you're just strumming the chords of the chorus with the tremolo on. So that is E. E, B, A, E. Pretty simple. Uh, I'll play along with that there. So 
Ooh. So that's the full chorus. Um, you can hear my tremolo is not quite at the right tempo. I didn't tap it right. Um, don't worry about that. Um, so there's other chords in there were C sharp minor, B, e, A, and then E. Um, so that's the second half. Open the grave, I'm coming out. I'm gonna be gonna live again. And then this is the sound of dry bones rattling. Uh, and then that last line, you do the A, A over G sharp, E thing again. It's not B, A, E. Only the last line, it goes back to what you did in the verse. So it, like that. So that's the chorus. Uh, verse three is just the same as verse one. Verse four, uh, we come in with big. Uh, let me find it here. It's big chords. Now here's verse four. Now we're in this interlude section, interlude section, where, bring my high end back up here with the tone knob, where uh, just it's a low E that's just being rung out, or E flat technically. We're all in E flat. I'm just saying the chords as if they're in E because that's what feels right to me. Um, and E is ringing out and all the musicians are kind of doing their own thing. Some guys are going to get some feedback going. Some guys are doing harmonics on the B and E string, 12th fret. Um, so I hear there's one guitar who turned his tremolo up super fast, so you could just tap some random tempo. Oh, turn, the, turn it on. Like that. Um, and uh, yeah, you can do all sorts of stuff like that during this part. Okay, the next part is the bridge. Um, so you're gonna start out with kind of a cleaner patch again. So I'll turn my tone down, turn my volume down. And uh, you're doing just E suspended back to E. Oh, sorry, my head got cut off there. Um, so I'll show you how that goes. So that's how the first part goes. Um, for the second half of what I just played, uh, that other guitar comes in and does the chugging. And then in this next part, we're coming all in here. Uh, the bassist is still doing his own thing, so it's not quite full in yet, but you're going. So that's the bridge. Uh, the le very last chords of the bridge are C sharp minor, B, A. Then you back in the chorus. So that's that. All right, so now we're on to bridge two, um, where the vocals are going, I hear the sound, I hear the sound. So they, they do that four times. And then uh, the first lyrics I go, and the bones began to rattle, then the guitar, who's panned to the left, uh, starts doing this descending lick, and he's got some heavy delay going. Um, I don't quite have that set up. But that is, uh, 
ninth fret G string, seventh fret G string, six, five. You just kind of walk down like that. goes to and this is what he said live so that is just a two chugs on the low E then go play a high E power chord up here and slide it down just like that Now this next part, where <laughs> Furtick starts yelling his lungs out, which is awesome. Uh, <laughs> he's going left, way up there, and then you go back to the first lick he played, but you're gonna put some chords underneath it. So it's just an E the whole time. It's, uh, it's tough to reach. I am out of tune. The fingering can help, so I'm doing a normal power chord there. And then I swap positions with my pinky and ring finger. And I put my middle finger on the seventh fret G string. And now I'm dropping my middle finger down to where my pointer was on the seventh fret A string. And I move my pointer up to the sixth fret G string. Then I keep that same fingering, but I'm moving my pointer down, and I gotta kinda move my whole body here to, to get the fifth fret of the G string. Um, so that's how I would do that. Just play those three strings the whole time. And that's it, that's pretty much the whole song for you. Um, those are the main parts. Um, there's one thing. There's a, uh, there's a guitar part where he goes like. Or something like that. So you're playing ninth fret B string, seventh, seventh fret B string, and then 10, nine and each time you're bending the G string up to meet that note. So I do that with my middle finger and ring finger on the G string. It's just a half step bend, so it needs to be slight. It's really easy to overdo. Don't do that. Half step. They do something like that. You don't have to do it exactly the way they do it, but um, if you want to add that in there, you can. So, uh, I hope this video was helpful. If you want me to do more of this stuff, let me know in the comments. Uh, comment below with songs you want me to teach you. Um, I've got lots of contemporary worship songs in my arsenal that I can teach, um, or some not Christian stuff, I can teach that too. So, uh, let me know, and uh, yeah, like, subscribe, share it around, do all that cool stuff. Um, thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next video.